We are here in Yoyo, in uh, the Bidi Bidi camp in U northern Uganda. We are having soccer tournaments, enjoying our time with these kids. And these kids, they use a ball like this one. And yeah, I've asked them if I could borrow it for a moment. As the games go on and they're shooting goals and doing an amazing thing. We have 16 teams and they are playing and they are enjoying themselves. And in the evening, we're having open air meetings, talking to them about Jesus. Welcome. And it's good that we can also just study the word of God for a moment. I believe everything orientates its, uh, around Jesus, the wonderful son of God. And let me talk about him. Colossians chapter one, verse 16 to 17 says, Christ is the one through whom God created the heavens and the earth. He made the things we can see and the things we cannot see. Kings, kingdoms, rulers, and authorities, everything has been created through Him, Christ, and for Him. He existed before everything else began, and He holds all creation together. There is nothing that was made that Jesus was not the creator of. Now just think the huge cosmos, all the galaxies, everything. We, know, we remember what it says in Genesis chapter one. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And we know that God is made of, of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Jesus was very much a part of what we see on this earth. And yet, although he had created everything, he was willing to become a child, grow up on this earth. He, was, he became a man and he lived on this earth, Jesus. He created the galaxies and he planned in detail everything that you see. And yet, we often underestimate him. We stick him into the into this category of just being a prophet or a teacher. No, he was everything. He was everything. Yes, we can put our trust in him and you will have put your foundation on the right, on the right one, the one who created everything. Now, as we look at this ball here, it's amazing. I'll just put my Bible down for a moment so that we can see this. You look at this ball here for a moment, it's just amazing. I was talking about the distance from the sun to the, to the earth it was just perfect. 150, 150 million kilometers, just the right temperature. We live on a, on a planet that is just a miracle in itself. Then the rotation speed of this planet as it rotates, isn't this amazing? Slower would mean that our days would be longer and the sun would burn us. Or even our planet that has just the right, uh, as it is turning around and makes us a full cycle in a year's time, giving us this, the seasons. Isn't this awesome? Or we look at our planet as it has the perfect slant, 23.5 degrees, and it, it is just within the right limit between 23 and 24 degrees. And it gives us the possibility to live on this earth. It is a miracle in itself. Our planet is just absolutely awesome. It is time for us to recognize these things and to look at it. Many people don't study. Many don't really look into the truth of why we exist. And yet the Bible tells us everything. <coughs> Our earth has the exact right mass, just the right mass. If our earth was a little bit larger, it would affect our gravity. It is just right. And our atmosphere is held 
by the gravity. Our Earth, the Moon, cannot attract an atmosphere, but our Earth can, and which affects our ozone layers. It affects all the gases. Even the speed that the Earth has as it turns affects how much oxygen, how much gases we have on this Earth. It is actually a miracle that we are alive. If the oxygen was just a little bit more, if we had too much oxygen, we would po it would poison us. Isn't that wonderful? God has given us just the right amount. The thickest of all in our solar system is that uh, is, 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 is our oxygen. Imagine our Earth has, if it was 20%, just 20% smaller with all the, uh, 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 in its mass, what would happen? It would mean that a great part of our atmosphere would not be there. A great part of our atmosphere would not be there. If our Earth was 25 percent larger, it would mean that we could not live or things, we would have about 25 uh, percent more gravity, which would mean everything would be heavy, maybe double. You'd be, this ball would be double the weight that it is now and everything would be just double. Imagine carrying a cement bag, which is 50 kilos, it would be 100 kilos. Our joints, our ligaments, our bones would not be able to hold out. It is a miracle that we are alive today and that we can exist. But it's not just that. It is God that had planned it. Jesus, as the Bible says in, in, uh, in, in His Word, He is the one that we need to give all the glory to. Our planet Earth has a planet atmosphere that's just the right amount of oxygen. It is just amazing. 21% is perfect. 50% oxygen would mean we would, we, we, our lungs would not manage. Our planet has the perfect thickness to the Earth atmosphere, which is the ultraviolet and the x-rays that would kill us if it was any different. Or our planet has its own ozone layer, which means that it is filtered, the sun is filtered, the rays that come in. Otherwise we would have cancer immediately. We would not manage our bodies. Our skin could not handle it. God has made us. We even have a magnetic field. It's not only good for flying. I'm a pilot and I fly. Yeah, we need uh, it for the compass and all that, but it also helps to divert objects in our solar system. Is that not amazing? That's what God had planned. When God spoke, everything came into being and it, He did it in six days and on the seventh day He rested. Our planet is a wet planet. We have 71% oceans, which, have, which is like a battery for our temperature. Isn't that amazing? God is so good. God is just absolutely awesome. And I want to encourage you to receive Jesus, the Christ who made this earth in an awesome way. Make him your Lord and Savior today. And you can do that right now. Just say, Lord Jesus, I recognize that your word is true and that I need you. Come into my life. You are awesome. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I have lots of friends here. Everyone wants to see what's happening. But you know, these guys are wonderful kids and they believe in Jesus. Why don't you?